Today, I'm going to show you how to earn a return as high as 83%. TJ from New Mexico, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I am your host, James Wise, and I am coming from you guys from my house as we continue to deal with the social distancing, uh, the quarantining type stuff. I am feeling a little bit under the weather, um, but I am doing a self-quarantine for at least 14 days. I don't know. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's just a cold or if it's, uh, you know what, um, but you know, I got my Hall's defense and I got my trusty beard comb and I am still able to come to you guys live with Holton Wise TV. So all is good <clears throat> in today's video. This is, uh, this is some good stuff, guys. Today, I'm working with my man, TJ. TJ, you are a dentist from New Mexico. And uh, you're new to investing, right? You got $100,000 in cash. You're interested in utilizing the Burr strategy. And, uh, you know, you kind of hit me with like a, <clears throat> a varying level of things you'd like to do. And you acknowledge that you're brand new to this. So you're looking for some direction. And, you know, your ultimate goal is to build up a portfolio of at least 50 units in the next three years, which is totally doable, right? I mean, you're a dentist. I know you're making, you know, a pretty solid amount of money. So financing won't be an issue. Uh, being able to pump additional capital into your portfolio will not be an issue. <clears throat> now, you are interested in Section 8, which is great, right? As far as asset class goes, you said you'd be interested in A, B, or C. You didn't say anything about D, but... A couple things that you talked to me that really stood out to me and really put a couple properties in a certain neighborhood in my head are a few things that you were interested in. One of which, you wanted to be close to hospitals and places that traveling professionals live, okay? That really stuck out to me. I think we're going to use that. We're definitely using that as the crux to our strategy. In addition, you wanted to buy units that have room to rent or you wanted to buy units that have room to increase the rent, rather, and then you wanted to be in the path of progress. So with the fact that you want to burr, you like Section 8, you want to be by hospitals, and you're interested in being in the path of progress, the properties I found for you, I think this particular neighborhood is going to hit all the nails on the head, man. The first property I've got for you, 3965 West 65th, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. Now, this has been listed for 103 days, okay? Been on the market for 103 days, listed at $45,000. It was actually contingent for a while, though, so somebody was under contract to buy it, and that fell apart, just hit the market again. It's listed by uh, Century 21. Now, <clears throat> this is just a big old colonial home, right? And this thing, I think, is going to be perfect. Now, cruising through the photos, things look pretty decent as far as the living room and the dining room, right? We have neutral colors throughout. It's all brown, but I mean, it, it's kind of neutral. But I don't want you to get confused by those photos. I still think we're going to need to freshen it up um, cosmetically, right? Like those, those walls, they look okay, um, from the photos, but I'm pretty sure if we were actually in the property, you would see some issues. The kitchen, the kitchen definitely needs some love, man. This is, this is looking pretty updated. Uh, we, we need to address these green walls and the bathroom is just gross, right? The bathroom needs update. We got to do something to that bathroom. I mean, we got grime everywhere. We got to, you know, we got to really polish this thing up, get this thing looking good. So what I would like to do is spend approximately $15,000 renovating this to get you a solid rental. I'm talking agreeable gray walls, nice, beautiful hardwoods, like these old colonial homes like this under that carpet, even though the carpet looks okay, man, under that carpet, we got, you know, nice hardwoods. I want to really freshen up that kitchen and that bath, make this look spick in span. 
we do that, we'll be able to get a tenant in there paying $1,000 a month. Now, here, <clears throat> here is what I'd like to do, though, right? I want to put a Section 8 tenant into this property. I think that is the very smartest, the very best thing we could possibly do. Because as it sits right now, this particular property, this is located in a D-class neighborhood. Now, you are not open to D-class. You are hoping to stay high in the C-class. But you want to be close to hospitals, and you want to be in the path of progress, okay? This property is, and, and the other property I've got for you too, similar neighborhood, same neighborhood actually, right, right there. This is why I think these are going to fall in line with what you'd like to do so much. Metro Health is a hospital that is very, very close to this property, right? <clears throat> right down the street, very close, right? A couple minutes away. They are investing over a hundred or over a billion dollars, right? Over, it's like 900 and something million, right? Pretty close to a billion dollars. They're investing in that hospital and in the immediate neighborhood around it. They're putting up more affordable housing units. So a, it's a hospital, and B, we are anticipating that this particular neighborhood is going to see a ton of good things happening. We're anticipating we're going to see possibly gentrification. We're going to hope to see some overflow from Ohio City, Tremont, Gordon Square, right, because those neighborhoods kind of all – you know, push into this particular neighborhood. So of all the D-class neighborhoods in the Cleveland market, I am the highest on this particular neighborhood. In addition to that, it hits it for you because the reason I'm so high on this neighborhood is the fact that it's a hospital that is driving all this, right? So <clears throat> right now it's D-class. So what I'd really like to do is I'd like to get us a Section 8 tenant. Now, I think it's going to cost approximately 15 k but you know, going through the process to actually get a property approved by Section 8, it could be a little bit more than that. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. It's hard to tell if all the windows have been replaced just from the photos we've got. And you got to have brand new windows, you're going Section 8. So there could be a little additional cost. But I think 16, or 15000 rather, is a pretty fair ballpark. And then Section 8 would lo most likely pay us um, uh, $1,000 a month to rent this bad boy, which is $12,000 a year. Now, as far as price goes, I think we'll be able to pick this up for you for $40,000. I think the best thing for you to do is pay cash. You pay cash, come in, you're aggressive, you pay cash, put fifteen k into it. You're all into the bad boy for $55,000. As far as what we're bringing in every month, you know, we're anticipating we're going to you know, save 50 bucks for repairs and maintenance, 50 bucks for non-payment of rent. Even though it's Section 8, eventually that tenant won't pay rent or will have vacancy of some sort. Capital expenditures, 50, right? I'm not anticipating we're going to get brand new hot water tank, brand new furnace, brand new roof. Just, you know, cost basis, just so you're aware. Furnace, last 30 years, cost three grand. Uh, hot water tank, last 15 years, cost a grand. Roof, big house here, probably $6,000 roof. They last 30 years. We got to save up for that stuff, right? Because eventually you're going to have to do all of that stuff. You're not going to pick up a property in the Cleveland market, pay $40,000, and anticipate getting all that stuff brand new. That just ain't going to happen, right? So you're going to calculate all that into your regular monthly stuff because, you know, you know eventually that's going to happen. There's no scenario where you don't have to replace a roof every 30 years. In addition to that, we've got 84 bucks a month in taxes, $60 in insurance. I want you guys to click the link below. I own a farmer's business, and what we can do is we can quote – anybody's rental portfolio in the United States, let us help you lower your insurance premiums. I mean, this property, we can't insure this bad boy for only $60 a month. We're appointed with all of the cheapest rental property insurers in the nation. So check us out. It's all we handle is the rental property insurance. Water sewer, you got to pay that for the tenants. Even though it's a single family home, there's a lot of logistics involved and legalities and the way the Cleveland Division of Water Works, uh, go to HoltonWise.com and click our property management FAQ for more information on why you have to pay water sewer. I know folks that live out of town, right? TJ, you're from New Mexico. You're probably like, what in the hell? Why would I have to pay water sewer when there's only one meter? I know it's, it's hard to comprehend. You know, it's a goofy system, but it's what we have to do. It's, it's, it's how we've, you know, it's the hand we've been dealt out here. So Go to the FAC, Property Management FAC on HoltonLines.com for more information on why. I've got a whole big article written up uh, that will explain all of it to you, and it just is what it is, man. Lawn care, you don't need to worry about that. It's a single-family home, though. The tenants, they will handle that. And then property management, 100 bones, right? So <clears throat> on average, every month ain't going to be like this. Every year ain't going to be like this. But on average, I would imagine you should be 
estimating you're going to spend four sixty nine a month, which is going to leave you with an NOI of five thirty one a year, or six thousand, or five thirty one a month, or six thousand three hundred seventy two a year. That's what your NOI is going to be. That's an eleven point six cap. Now, here's where it gets good, man. This is this is where we really, as real estate investors, take advantage of the fact that money is cheaper than it's ever been right now. Money is so cheap. Mortgages are so cheap. You pick this up cash, $40,000. We put $15,000 of renovations in there. We bring in a Section 8 tenant, paying us approximately $1,000 a month. So you're all into this bad boy for $55,000. We then hopefully get it to appraise for 60 grand. You're all into it for 55. We are hoping to get it to appraise for 60. That's, that's pretty reasonable. Only $5,000 more than what you're into it. But what that does when you play with the numbers like that, that really allows us to make a huge cash on cash return. Because if you get it to appraise for $55,000, the bank, they're going to loan you $45,000, meaning you're only $10,000 into this property. After you pay off that new mortgage, <clears throat> You're bringing home, you're clearing three forty two a month, man. Paying off that mortgage, you only got ten k into the deal. That is a forty one percent cash on cash return. You're making forty one percent on your money, and you're in an area that's got meat on the bone because I think it's a D class neighborhood right now. So right now with Section Eight, I think we'll still make forty one percent on your money, possibly. Right? I can't, you know, I can't predict it, but I believe. I think this is the best D-class neighborhood in the Cleveland market. So I, I think there's going to be a ton of meat on the bone 5, 10, 15 years from now. So all in all, this, my man, is a solid deal. Now we're going to go to a quick commercial break, and then we're going to get into the second deal, which has a cash-on-cash -cash return that is actually double this one. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. U.S. REIB is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REIB has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REIB is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. All right, TJ, welcome back. Now, if you like the previous property, you're going to like this one even more because we can squeeze out a little bit better of a deal here just based on what's going on. 2005 Kenneth, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. Same neighborhood, my man. These properties are very close to each other. This property listed, $45,000. Been on the market over 200 days, 201 days. That is key, man. That is great. That is awesome for us. Reason being, there is a tenant in there. You know, these, these realtors, right? Most realtors, they just handle <clears throat> traditional real estate, traditional homes. They anticipate that their clients wanting to go view the home and then move their family into the home. Totally different ball game when you handle rentals, man. Uh, especially D-class rentals, dude. The tenants, they're not easy to deal with, right? That's just part of the game. So because of that, I think we're going to be able to squeeze out an even better deal. I'd like to see us pick this one up for $35,000. $5,000 cheaper than the previous property because, number one, the house is very, very hard to show, right? Number two, owner-occupied buyers, even though there's not a lot of them uh, in a D-class neighborhood, they're still totally eliminated from this property where the other property was empty, easy to show. You know, it's a lot easier to get other buyers in there. This one, it's tough. We got a tenant in there. And then the third reason I think we're going to get the price even cheaper is because this particular tenant is not necessarily a positive to real estate investors. The reason being, this tenant is only paying $675 a month. 
Now, I am all about picking up properties where the tenant's paying a little bit less than they should be and slowly increasing their rents, right? I, I don't think people should just immediately rush to take over a property and kick the tenant out so they can get a new tenant uh, paying market. You know, you don't want to immediately try to give yourself a five or $10,000 renovation um, in exchange for a hundred bucks a month, right? But when a tenant is living in a single family home like this one, <clears throat> big old single family home, then we're gonna have that capital expenditures we gotta account for. We're gonna have the repairs and maintenance we gotta account for. We got taxes, insurance, all that jazz, right? When a tenant is paying this little, it's actually impossible to cash flow, right? You're not gonna cash flow when the tenant is paying this small amount of money. I mean, like the cash flow is like minuscule, dude. Like you have a couple bad years, a couple rough years, man, your cash flow is wiped out. This tenant is paying so little money. It's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's just too low, right? It's, it's just, it's not like we're doing 50 or hundred bucks here. Like they're way too low. It's almost, it's close to half basically. Right. So we cannot you know, our property is not set up to be easily sold to people looking to live in it, not set up very well for investors because the tenant is a negative here. So because of that, I think we're going to pick it up for 35000 Now, looking at the photos, you know, I'm anticipating at least another $15,000. I want to get this Section 8 ready. Again, <clears throat> could be a little higher than $15,000 to get it totally Section 8 ready, but, you know, similar, similar type deal with the other property. We go agreeable gray walls get the kitchen looking good. Here we actually got a little bit nicer countertop uh, and uh, kitchen cabinet set up. And we do have like a pretty modern looking floor. You know, we got the wood paneling walls in the living room, but all told, you know, basically similar condition to the other house. So approximately $15,000, get this thing looking spiff and span. We're going to be all into it for $50,000 if we could pick it up for you at 35 k do the same thing, same plan. Get us a Section 8 tenant and they're paying $1,000 a month. You know, the cost on this one, it's a very similar property to the other property. The rent's going to be practically the same. So <clears throat> minus a few minor uh, details, like a little bit of differences in the, the tax rate, things of that nature, we're going to be bringing home a similar amount of money. So I anticipate 536 a month coming in from this property. So you're all into this for 50,000. This makes the cap a little bit higher, a 12.8 cap. But <clears throat> because we were able to pick it up $5,000 cheaper because of all the things I just mentioned, if we get it to appraise for 60K, just like the last property, which I think we will, and the bank loans us 45, that means you're only into this one for $5,000. You cut the amount of money you're actually into the property in half. You're getting a similar return. You're going to be bringing home on average. Now, some years are going to be better. Some are going to be worse. Don't anticipate you're going to make this every single year. It does not work like that in the real estate business, man. Bad things can happen. Perhaps we do an eviction. Uh, and then you got another big renovation. Things like that will kill your return. But on average, over the long haul, you're trying to build a portfolio of 50 units, okay? If you had 50 of these properties for 10 years, let's say, I would anticipate these would be the average returns you would see. Some of them, you know, might have negative returns and some of them are going to have huge, beautiful returns with no issues. But you average out your whole portfolio. These are the numbers I'd anticipate. 4,164 bucks a year coming in after you pay off that mortgage. You're only into this sucker for $5,000. That TJ would be an 80 three percent cash on cash return so doing that doing these two bird deals <clears throat> you end up in the cleveland market bringing home a ton of cash flow and you're only fifteen thousand dollars into your 100k so now you're down two mortgages but you've still got eighty five thousand dollars of that original hundred thousand dollar nest egg and we could move on and get you the second property, the third property, the fourth, et cetera, et cetera. You got a big old package from me. I'm going to be doing 10 properties for you. So these two properties right here would be a perfect start. I think you should make the offers on both of them. What I want to do is I will want to have my team. We will start the bidding a little bit lower than our two targeted prices, right? We're trying to hit 40 K and we're trying to hit 35 K. We don't want to come in with like ridiculous low ball offers because we need to be competitive. We need to make sure we win the bid, right? Cause you know, these are great deals here. 
So I'd like to come in within like two to three thousand dollars of my target price to start things off and see where it goes from there. We do that. We should probably get them both under contract for you. From there, my team will, of course, get you set up with home inspectors, things of that nature. They'll go into the property. They'll check them out with the fine-tooth comb. And, you know, they may find other issues that I'm not seeing here from this desk, right? I'm doing everything from my house, you know, on social distancing, on a quarantine, so to speak, right? So I don't know everything about the properties, but that's what our home inspectors are going to do. You know, deals look good, but we're going to still want to do our due diligence, right? Just because you're paying cash don't mean we need to do our due diligence. Because you're paying cash, doing due diligence is even more important because you got a lot of your money in play, at least temporarily. But my team will be able to walk you through all that, get you squared away. Then we'll close. We'll take over the properties. We'll manage them. We'll give the one tenant a rent increase up to 1000 If that tenant wants to pay the 1000 great. But, you know, I don't see that happening. I don't see somebody going from 675 to 1000 right then and there. You know, they're probably going to move out, but that's okay. We'll renovate that property, get it Section 8 approved, get you a new tenant, and then boom, we'll bring the appraiser in there from one of our lenders. We'll get you a lender set up, and then boom, they'll appraise it. Hopefully, both of these properties appraise for $60,000. we will get you a, a low interest, 30-year fixed interest loan. And then you'll have, I'm hoping, $85,000 left of your hundred k and we'll move on to the next two properties, my man. So all that sounds good. I'll have you shoot my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com, and we'll get the ball rolling. For everybody else out there who's watching TJ's video, I actually filmed this a while ago. So when this is live on Holton Wise TV, you know, these deals are long gone. Hell, the social distancing and all that jazz is probably long gone. I'm fairly confident I'll still be around, though. I'm not too worried. I'm a young, healthy guy. Um, but of course, I got to do my part um, to help prevent any spread of any possible thing. So anybody else out there, if you're feeling ill, even if you think it's just a cold, like I, I think I might have, uh, or, you know, heaven forbid, uh, you know, the other thing out there, we still got to do our part to social distance, make sure we don't spread this to the vulnerable members of our society. That's all I've got for today's show. Everybody else shoot over to the property search for sale tab and click on the MLS search analysis show. Get yourself your own show. Work with me one-on-one -on -one, just like TJ is so I can help you make a bunch of money in the real estate space. As you can see from the numbers, the fact that the money is so cheap, the fact that the tenants are paying off your mortgages for you, and the fact that here in the Cleveland market, our prices are so low, a lot of money can be made. That's why more millionaires, more self-made millionaires in this country became self-made millionaires through real estate than any other industry. That's enough out of me. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%, that's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches. FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit fshouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. 
Just enter the details of your property and RentTech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video just like this one to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.